I just got back from the neighbors and we got the oh, green light. God. A hundred thousand dollars a year. That's how much they wanted to charge us for a 100 gigabit link between the studio here and the lab. To which I said, excuse me, pardon? I'm gonna run my own cable, courtesy of Infinite Cables. How much does this bad boy weigh? Like a hundred pounds. And how many fiber optic pairs are inside it? I think it's four pairs, so that's eight fibers total. Conceivably then, we could do hundreds of gigabit per second, assuming we had the switching equipment. Ow! Oh, sorry. Ow. Uh, that's metal. Damn. It's a little stiff because it's actually designed for either direct burial or outdoor applications. And the length of it is a whopping 700 meters. That's over 2,000 feet for my Yankee friends. 2,300. The good news is that this green belt goes all the way between the two buildings. The bad news is that a lot of the green is pretty spiky. So this is going to be one heck of a ride. And it's brought to you by our sponsor. Smart Deploy. Smart Deploy is now powered by PDQ.com and offers zero touch, zero headache PC management for IT. You can deploy Windows, apps, and drivers from the cloud with no VPN required and get your free subscription worth over $500 at smartdeploy.com slash Linus. Just so I understand the plan a little bit better, we've got this braided sleeving here that is covering our terminated fiber optic pairs. These are very fragile. What that means then is we can either pull it by this, which puts all the strain right here, or we can pull it by the armored sheath, but not this part in between. This we need to be careful with because one break and the whole endeavor is wasted. Pretty much. Which would be an extremely sad day. We could get it re-terminated, but it would still suck. Yeah, not unless we don't know where the break was. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Infinite Cables, by the way, for sending this thing over. I thought it was going to be like thousands of dollars worth of cable. What was it, like 700 it was, bucks? It was less than a thousand bucks. Yeah. What? Right? Look at this thing. It That's looks wild. it looks like it should cost like 10 grand, a specialty blah, 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 blah. Uh, I mean, is this the point where we just start going? Have check, we figured I'm checking out a point the of, invoice here. Have we figured out a point of ingress into our building yet? Yeah. That, what? It, we're just going to put it through the door. This is just for temporary. Through the door? Now, obviously, this kind of a fiber deployment wouldn't be, strictly speaking, official. So we're just trying it as a proof of concept to see what kinds of speeds we can get and also to demonstrate the benefits of fiber optic cabling over copper. There's absolutely a snowball's chance in hell that you would get any kind of copper signal over this distance at any kind of speed, let alone this speed. Wait, where are you going? I, well, I'm going, right? You gotta go in the bush somewhere. Well, yeah, but we're going through the door here, right? So I don't need to go through the bush and then we'd have to backtrack to the door. Sure. All right, here we go. So what, am I just doing this myself? Yes. Here's the thing, the weight of this cable is going to be so great once it's fully deployed that we're going to have to have a team of people probably positioned every 50 to 100 meters to help pull it once we reach the final stretch. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the back door. I'm assuming we're going in the back door? No, oh, we're going in the, wait, what? We're, go, we're, we're, we're the back door boys. Wait, what do you mean you're going in the back door? Like the, the your end will go in here, right? Yeah, Which but that's means the other side. My end needs to start snaking. Yeah, oh yeah. All right. Get I'm on gonna... in there, little doggy. Didn't you say you guys cleared this, Dan? Uh, no. Were we supposed to? Yes. We, Are we you walked right it. now. I, uh, there's something to clear the other end, I believe. But this end should be pretty clear, just behind the tree line. Should be pretty clear. Are you even listening to yourself? Yeah, it's behind the tree line. You just gotta crawl through there. It'll be fine. Mm. Yeah, don't worry about it. We changed our mind about going into the bushes any sooner than we absolutely have to. Unfortunately, this is the end of the easy path, and there are no shortcuts on the next leg of our journey. This could quite possibly be the dumbest thing we've ever done. Yeah, but it's a ridiculous idea, and I think that makes it amazing. It's one of the best projects I think we've done here. It's like when you're a kid, and you imagined what it would be like to have a tin can stretched all the way to your friend's house that you could talk to. Exactly. This is the high-tech version of that. All right, in we go. Oh, blackberries. This one looks delicious. This is the first hurdle that we found when we walked this. Yeah, it's we a fence. It's not this. really a hurdle, it's a fence. Okay, fine. He's being pedantic. It's a high whatever. hurdle. It's a high, high hurdle. hurdle. Uh, there's gonna be a couple more along the way, but this is our first one. Wait, we have to scale this? You, can't we just go around? I believe there's more fence. Oh my God, there's a different I'm fence. I'm stuck. Wait a second. 
Wait, oh, oh. Uh, that's gonna be a negatory, Chief. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, David, is I'm gonna leave you here, and then you're gonna watch me um, bushwhack my way to you. All right, I'm coming at you, you ready? Yeah. We're going charging bull style. Gonna clear a path. How to get seriously injured, one Here we one. go. Ah! Oh no, these jeans have holes. I'm adding holes to my other holes. Here we go, I gotta get low. Oh God, I'm not wearing a face shield. Yeah! Oh my God. Hi, are we just gonna pass it through the fence? What's up? Well, that was exciting. All right, so now the plan is we wanna cut these boys as low as possible and get them out of here. That's the secret to bushwhacking. You don't wanna scatter everything around. I actually spent a lot of time doing this stuff for the excellent pay of about two bucks an hour for my parents when I was a teenager. Okay, here's the plan. Dan, yeah. you're gonna clip it to my butt. Oh, not the weirdest thing I've ever been asked to do. So we're gonna go right here, is that, uh, is that kosher? Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Uh, it'll protect it a little more, I guess. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. And then my goal as I go is gonna be to clear you guys about three feet so you can micro trench it. Excuse me, Dan, did you just call me fat? Yes. What, why? You're very quick. Oh, oh quick, I thought you called me fat. I also called you fat. Oh my God. Look, big booty's in fashion, all right? Hey, well, hey, that's not so bad, yeah, eh? Good job. Are you filming vertically? I am filming vertically. <sighs> it's a lot easier for this space, sir. Alex from Logistics <laughs> is helping us because David can't get back here. Okay, you gotta go horizontal. You want me to go way. horizontal? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So can I just start walking? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh heck yeah! Don't mind me. I'm just laying fiber here. Okay, just laying a big fat fiber right behind myself. <laughs> <laughs> Figure we give you an update on what actual cable this is while we're pulling here. Now, unlike what we said before, I, I don't remember, I think I might've said eight pairs. It's actually six total fibers, which means you have three pairs. Each pair is gonna have a transmit and a receive fiber, and those are gonna plug into transceivers on either end. Currently, we're gonna be using 100 gig transceivers, and we're gonna use two on either end, which are aggregated together to make a 200 gigabit link along this cable. But on this fiber, we could even run three 400 gig transceivers for 1200 gigabit, 1.2 1 terabit, which is mind boggling. This is future proofing at its finest. <laughs> I don't think our video production is ever gonna use anywhere near 100 gig, let alone 1200 gig, but uh, we could do it if we want it. Now inside the sheathing of this cable, it's like a hard plastic, really strong. You're gonna find like a corrugated metal layer that's uh, going to be kind of cut resistant even if you were to get through this plastic there's actual metal in there and it's it's kind of got a ripple like a corrugation like this and then inside that there'll be like a pull cord and some like kind of insulation fibery stuff and then inside all of that you'll actually see the really small single mode fibers six it kind of feels like a hose it's got a little bit of like memory because of the steel but it's really, really strong. We've been reefing on it. David, you wanna look down there? Just this run alone is 150 feet. And so wherever Linus is in the bushes, he's been in there for like an hour now. He's probably gotten, you know, maybe another 200 feet. We've got a long way to go. Hello? Hello. Can I help you? No, I'm good. Clearing some of the blackberries back here. You in the city? No, 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 but we're running a cable. We have a unit in this building here. Oh, perfect. Away, my friend. All right. We tried to shock them, but these things grow like weeds. Oh, I know, right? I could see someone was back here not that long ago because some of the big ones are dead. Yeah, we tried to stop it because it's getting crotches over here like crazy. Well, I'm going to kill some of them. Beauty, man. Awesome. Thanks very much. All right. Cool, man. What's up, Dan? Welcome to my party. It's pretty cozy back here. How do you like my path? It's horrible. <laughs> Well, what do you mean? What do you mean horrible? I actually had one of the buddies who lives over here come out and tell me, "Hey, thanks for clearing some of these blackberries." Oh, what a nice thing for you to out! Damn it, for you to do. So, uh, how far along am I? I actually have no context for so distance here. We're technically in the final stretch now. Shut up. Yeah. So that was the the last corner, and now it's straight all the way to HQ two. Shh. Uh, 
HQ2 is the lab. That's what Sorry. Logistics calls it because they can't not be our to stick to convention. Well, it's changed like six times, Linus. <laughs> All right, so uh, I just keep going? You just keep going. Okay. We've got Alex at that corner. We've yeah. got Jamie and them at the other corner. All right. I'm going to film you now. Okay. That's wrong. Am I sliced yeah. up? You're not too sliced Oh, okay. I thought you said that was wrong. No, I... I made it a selfie. It's all about the technique. If you guys want some bushwhacking tech tips here, even with big thick gloves like this, if you just grab onto these things, you are gonna get your hands sliced up something nasty. But you can see mine are fine. And the reason for that is that it's all about the grabbing technique. You've been watching me on my chest cam just grabbing these things, but you gotta grab with like a brushing motion because it breaks off the tips of all the ones where your hands are. And then you just move these buddies around, a little something like that. No damage to the meat paws. How's the radius on the back of the fiber? It looks fine right now. Yeah, okay. It's like playing a VR game, except the tether costs $700. If you break it, <laughs> you can't really turn around. All right, I'm coming through. Ow. Ah. You found the prickle? Ow, ow, I'm much taller than you, ow. How far you reckon we are? Well, we got a bit of a, there's a bit of a gap in the buildings now. Uh -huh. So I think that means that we've only got maybe three more to go. Only? Uh, and the last one's ours. Only three more buildings? Yeah. Well, they're all connected together. Come on. Linus, I was wrong. What? I was wrong. What? You wrong? Never. It, I think we're only at lab one. We're only, what? Yeah, we've so made it. How much farther is it? We've only made it like two buildings. So we have another four, five, six, seven buildings to go, I think. Seven? Uh, roughly. And these are the small ones. They turn into warehouses soon, like oh ours. My. All right, cool. This is neat. Let's check this out. I haven't done anything here. Oh, it's beautiful. Not bad, right? No. So all we gotta do is give it a little, ooh, my neck. Not gonna lie. I'm running out of steam a little bit here, boys. Do you want a tag team? Mm. Serge is gonna be back with the wee whacker. I got this. All right. I'm not gonna give up now. Linus is taking this all on himself. In the wilds of Langley, BC, Canada, we have a Linus Sebastian in its native habitat. We're gonna need some backup here. Look at the density of this. Hey, Serge! What are they? Hey! All right, Serge is here. We got the cavalry's here. That works? Give it a, no, no, just, just chuck it up, up and over. Up and over. Oh, God! <laughs> uh, one. I'm ready, sir. Halfway along the final stretch, you say? It's, uh, wait. it might be a little bit more than that, actually. Doesn't feel like much of a halfway point. Honestly, I wish we were back to the brambles at this point, because these dead bits of tree are so dense, and some of the branches are so thick, I don't even think I could cut them with this. It's going to be extremely slow going from here. <laughs> I'm stepping out into the light. <laughs> What's up, David? A hundred meters? Oh, you're close, Linus. It's only a frickin' Olympic sprint race away. Daddy, you coming? I'm coming. I'm coming, Linus. What the hell? Oh, How How'd you find the easy way? I crawled through all that. What? Oh, it's like this for like two kilometers. Shut up, it's not for two kilometers. It didn't even go two kilometers. Oh, okay. Sup, YouTube. Oh, my, oh. Oh, I got myself pretty good there. Whoops. Yeah, your next, uh, don't look at your neck. Oh yeah. Battle scars. All good. You should have brought a helmet. That's actually made a big I difference. I should have brought a helmet. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Oh, hi David. What's up? I don't know if they want me pulling the cable or not, but I'm, I'm pulling it. Found a path. Do you, do you know what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Wait, nobody's pulling cable anymore? How long, when did everybody go back to the office? David, they're done. They're, they're out. They're gone for the day. Yeah, we're just, nobody told me. Why? So we're just standing here like idiots. No, no, it didn't come from me. All right, see you later. Oh my goodness. This shirt is not dark green, David. Oh. I am freaking drenched. Yeah, that's the that's color. That's the dry spot. <laughs> okay, so it's not super breathable, but look at this. Hey. You guys, you guys saw what I was doing in those bushes. This is what the unprotected parts of me look oh like. Oh my gosh, holy cow. <laughs> wow. Workshop jacket, lttstore.com.
<laughs> and we're here! Okay, I staged the whole being in the bush thing. I showed you guys, it was like a clear shot over here from where we left off, but that's okay. I didn't really want to go in and start bushwhacking again anyway. Oh, this is it. We're through the door. Lab two. Where are we testing this? Keep going. Keep going, okay. Keep going. The switch is over here. Well, I don't. Yeah, I, that's why I asked you where I'm going. <laughs> I asked you, I ask you where I'm going. You say keep going. I go, and you tell me I went too far. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I didn't hear you. <laughs> you did, bull. You didn't hear me. Oh, Why would you God. say keep going if you didn't hear me? Ugh. One thing I gotta say is this experience has given me a whole new level of respect for the crews that run these fiber lines all over our cities. Like. Shout out, you guys are doing the Lord's work because it is not easy. It's heavy and cumbersome. Oh, that was only part of the journey. We still don't know if the cable even works. But first, we're gonna show you guys the switching equipment that we're gonna be using to get our 200 gigabit link between the two buildings. You know we could do 300, right? What, really? We could do three, I mean, there's three pairs. I'm super down. <laughs> I only bought optics for two. Okay, 200 gigabit link. <laughs> this right here is the Microtech CRS504-4XQ-IN. And pretty much that's all it does. Four 100 gigabit ports, and then you got your management port, and that's it. It's... Dual redundant power supplies. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Dual redundant power supplies. Hell is goes power. It can also be PoE powered. It can also no be powered by way. DC power if you want. Shut you up. You see PoE, PoE power? Yeah. This switch only draws 25 watts max without optics. 25 watts. It does, it does, what? And it has four 100 gigabit links? Yeah, purpose built is, hardware, baby. How much is this bad boy? Guess. Two grand. 800 bucks. Shut up. Yeah. I've seen them on sale for seven too. Do you know what I would have given for this when we started this company? <laughs> yeah. Like all... my parts of my soul. All right. Oh. Actually, we haven't even talked about our optics. Shout out fs.com, by the way. These guys have basically made fiber optic networking affordable and accessible to normal people. Mm -hmm. Like it's intercompatible with all this different gear. You don't have to pretty much worry about proprietary, oh, it yeah. doesn't work with you, this one. You can go on their website and pick any manufacturer you yeah. want. And there's actually a box you can get to plug these transceivers in and reprogram them on the fly. That is so cool. Yeah. These ones are gonna be two kilometer range. Mm -hmm. Our run is about 700 meters currently. We add a little bit on the ends and maybe we're at like 800 meters. These might be too powerful. So we're gonna have to use a fiber optic power meter to see what kind of output these are doing. Because if you have too much power, yeah. you can burn out either end. More is not necessarily better. You gotta yeah. remember guys, these are lasers and these are highly sensitive receivers on either side. You don't wanna go using like a 40 kilometer transceiver on a two kilometer run. Now, you won't do that because they're expensive, <laughs> yeah. but this is the minimum we could get while still hitting our range requirements. Now, can we get something that will tone her down a yeah, little bit? Yeah, it's called an attenuator. Beautiful. So it just goes in line. But we'll worry about that for later. It'll be fine to run just to test. Okay. Where where did we leave the cable on this side? Oh, it's just, just sitting outside. I haven't been back here for a while. I'm just, just, just chilling out I there. I was busy going through the way. Wait, it's just outside? Yeah. Jake. What? We just left it outside. It's Whoa. been two days. What else are we going to do? I don't know. Worst comes to worst, somebody broke it. Oh, look, it's still there. Wow. <laughs> what the hell, dude? It's just, it literally just tossed it in the bushes. Yeah. So? Ah, whatever. I guess it's a temporary install. Anyway. Now, the what question is, do we want to run this inside? Or do we just patch it here? Uh, I think we can run it inside. Just, we'll just, just roll, roll the spool. Yeah, we'll roll. We'll roll this monster. Oh, I gotta Let's do it. it. Let's do it. Oh boy. This is the, this is what we call a Canadian wheel. You just carry it. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, to the server room, you know. Server room. Yeah. Oh. Well, because we want to hook it up to the rest of the stuff, right? I guess so. It's water, Mark. It's a series of of. of no, don't take off that side. Don't take off that side. Why not? Because we still need to pull it through stuff, maybe. No, we don't. We're going to go right there. <laughs> not, I mean, later. <laughs> oh, oh. Take off the other side. <laughs> yeah, here, just let go. Oh, my God. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, you just whacked it. Oh, it's fine. It's, this glass. Stuff's like, it's like indestructible glass. It's 
like corning glass. You remember what we did to is those corning glass? glass? Yeah. But is it like the is it like the like very good kind yeah, or the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're making this up. It is corning glass. I well, yeah, I know, but corning makes like durable ones and they make like high performance ones. I suspect this is high performance. It's um. You make whatever you're about to say. You're pulling out of your ass, so there's no point in even saying it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> we should definitely pay attention to which ones we're using. And then we got our. Yeah, make sure we plug in the same ones on the well, other we'll side. Well, we'll know real quick. So we got LC1A, LC1B, and uh, LC2A and 2B. All right. It's plugged into our 100 gig Dell switch, so we've got we've got connectivity like um, to the rest of the machines on our network and all that. I'd like to just take a brief moment and clarify that we would never recommend doing something like this for any kind of long-term deployment. This is just a meme. Like, it's just for the jokes. We wanted to see if we could do it. And the cable was shockingly affordable, so we were like, Hold that. Oh my God, could this be done? We needed to film in one of our neighbor's fenced off yards, BC Plant Healthcare. They do like arborist work and a variety of other things. Maybe we'll throw their website up here. So I had to knock on their door and say, uh, hey, here's a weird thing we're doing. Hilarious. I walked through the door and one of their workers was like, sup Linus, I guess you're here asking about that fiber run you guys were planning. I watch WAN show. And I'm like, don't worry, I already primed my boss on it. You know what they asked for? Screwdrivers and backpacks for all their techs. And I was like, you know what? No problem, we got you. <laughs> all right. All right, we ready? Yeah, it looks like it's blinky blinking, so it's at least connected on this side. Oh, that's not good. Something I'm finding a little bit confusing, Jake, is... Oh, no, this is not a fourth fiber pair. No, it's the pull cord. Oh! It's just wrapped around here and taped and stuff. Okay, and then this guy right here is just what, like a stiffening rod down the yeah, middle? Yeah, it might just be stuck in here. Yeah, it Does it actually like go it. down the middle? Yeah, it goes down the I middle. I want to plug it in, I'm plugging it in. All right, plug it too in. Long. Oh my God. Holy oh my did oh it work? Oh my God, hold <laughs> Blinky I'm lights. It would be broken. You see a hundred gig right there? Just like that, hey? It just works. Activity and everything. Okay, let's try pair two. Okay. Got a nice. gig No way. <laughs> not only if we were able to leave something like this deployed, not only could we spend zero dollars per month to maintain it, but we could actually have double the link speed of what we were quoted. Mm-hmm. You know, with this fiber we could do three times four hundred gig. We could do 1.2 terabit. <laughs> we stole this computer from the keyboard testing robot. Look at this monitor go. Okay, we're good, we're good. This Ubiquiti switch has, ah, oh, here we go, 25 gigabit uplinks right here. To connect these switches then, we're gonna take our QSFP28 port and we're gonna use a breakout cable that goes to four SFP28 ports. The Q is for quad. So this will do 100 gig and these SFP28s will do 25 gigabit. The problem is we don't have that cable, but thankfully, oh, perfect timing. Thanks, Dan. And thanks to FS.com. Yeah, this is the thing I was talking about. One of these to four of those. Neat, right? Plugging into our 10 gig card. I know 10 gig isn't 100 gig, but realistically with Windows File Explorer, like, we're, we're not gonna be getting more than that speed to a single client anyway. The reason that we would need a link speed this fat would be because there's gonna be anywhere from 20 to 30 people working out of this building right from day one. Uh, I don't know what the password is though. I guessed it. <laughs> I hacked the mainframe. Hello again, Manjaro. It's been a while. That's fast internet. Look at that, it's snappy. It's 100, do a speed test. Mm, definitely won't be 100 meg. Yeah, okay, so that's that's 100 megabit per second. Uh, hell yeah, brother. Uh, okay, so wait, why are we using the management port? Uh, what because are you even doing, it's sir? It's not making a link to that switch. A lot of the times when you're breaking up 100 gig, you have to go in and explicitly tell it you can break up into 425 gig lanes, so oh. we gotta check the switch and see. All right. It's detecting the cable. And it's gone. Oh. I was trying a transceiver that's not necessarily MicroTik compatible earlier, and it was exhibiting the same behavior. Okay, so we'll try the other transceiver and then see how it goes. Uh, well, this isn't a transceiver, this is a cable. It's like a direct attach cable. Oh, shoot. So this, this splitter. Oh, doesn't okay. It doesn't like the splitter. Man, I love these like beefy freaking cables here. You just need a couple conductors to do 100 gig. <laughs> yeah. 
These are copper. That's why they're so thick. The other, the fiber one, the reason that's so thick is just from all the armor and protection on it. Yeah, the actual fiber in there is like so small you can barely see it. Yeah. Do we have a fan anywhere? Oh, isn't there a bunch of Noctua fans? Because this will get hot. Oh. Frickin' A. All right. Uh, yeah, one moment, please. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any cooling fans here, and it's a long walk back to the office. But we did find this leaf blower. You're not gonna actually... Don't blow it at me, please. Oh, yeah. Do you mind, Dan? I mean, do you deny that it will keep that network card cool? As long as you don't blow it at me or in my gonna, ear. I wouldn't, I wouldn't blow it at you. Ooh, that is pretty hot. Okay, one sec. Let's give her a little... Uh, It's cool, look Jake, it's barely warm to the touch now. It's almost like fans cool things. Oh yeah, here we go. Some things changed. Uh, we're on Windows now, we've got a Connect X6 card instead of a Connect X4, and are we Connect Xing right now? Let's see, let's see. We're Connect X, did. This should be a hundred gig. Show me the hundred gig, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Speed. Oh, that's freaking amazing. Speed test? Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. First things first, we just gotta do like, like, like internet speed test. <laughs> Woo hoo hoo! <laughs> Obviously, this isn't our full 10 gig internet speed, but there just aren't speed test servers that are fast enough for us to get that full speed anyway. This is all Urban Fiber had. They did their best. Now let's go ahead and why don't we just do like a file transfer, I guess, right? We're using a SATA SSD. I was like, oh, why is this speed so unimpressive? I'm only getting 600 megabytes a second. <laughs> because my local storage operates at like less than a tenth the speed of my network connection. Yeah, so it went from 700 all the way down to three. This poor SSD. Crap the balls. system is the like at 100% utilization. It's crapping the bed. <laughs> Task manager won't even open. It's like when your SSD is at 100% utilization though. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is RAM disk to server, so we're about to see the limit of Windows file transfer. <laughs> you should bring up that. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, let's go! 1.6, woo! Hey, hit 1.7 for a second there. Oh, well. Gigabytes a second. Well, okay, here, let's do something more exciting. How about this? That is well in excess uh, of 10 gigabit. Uh, uh, uh. How about- So even if we had a 10 gigabit internet How about internet that? Connection, that's, that's well. Holy crap, we're at 44, 45 gigabits per second. This is incredible. Incredible, like this segue to our sponsor. FreshBooks. FreshBooks is an easy to use accounting software that helps you do your business. Impress clients with professional looking invoices that detail the work you've done. Use automated payment reminders if invoices get past due and easily track expenses and use their time tracker to log every minute of billable hours so you don't have to think about it later. Keep everyone on the same page with their projects feature, which makes it easy for clients, team, and contractors to collaborate, share files, and leave useful comments. FreshBooks has your back at tax time too. With a ton of reports to choose from, you'll know exactly where your business stands. And you can easily hand the keys over to your accountant so they can take over when it's time to reconcile everything for the year. Choose a plan that's right for you and start your free trial of FreshBooks for 30 days today, no credit card required at freshbooks.com slash Linus. So Jake, he was a big naysayer for this. Not that stupid, right? Yeah, well we can't keep it, so. It was a lot of work and now we get to just pull it back. <laughs> There's always the dish. Yeah. Now that I've seen this, the dish is never gonna impress me again though. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, maybe check out the one where we ran air fiber between our studio and creator warehouse. And if you haven't already subscribed on Floatplane, I think Artie's gonna have a great little behind the scenes exclusive from this show. Shoot. 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 Shoot.